This is a must buy for your Steam Deck and Steam Deck OLED. All right, this is the super power bank for Steam Deck. And this isn't any old power bank. This is really cool. And let me show you why. So opening up the box, we have the power bank itself. And it's pretty beefy. And it is by Siwi, Siwiku, Siwiu. I'm not sure how you say that. I'm sorry, but I love this thing. It's really, really cool. So yeah, this isn't just a normal power bank like you think it would be because inside the box, we get some accessories. So we get this, which I'll show you what this is for in a second, but you can probably guess. And then we get two cables as well. A shorter cable like this, which I will show you what that's for. And then we get a longer cable to charge it up with. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I love it. So this is a power bank, which is capable of outputting 45 watts to your Steam Deck, which means it's the same as plugging it into the wall. So it will actually provide enough power for you to be gaming and charging the Steam Deck from this, which is mental. And it is a two, two, a 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank, which they state can charge the Steam Deck LCD an extra 1.8 times. Now the OLED over here is obviously a bigger watt hour battery. So I would say it gives you about an extra 1.5 times charge. So if you're using the Steam Deck fully charged, let's say you fully charge your Steam Deck and then you've got this fully charged as well. You're basically getting like two and a half charges. So you've got the full charge in there, a whole nother full charge here and a half as well. And we know at least for the Steam Deck OLED, the battery life's ridiculous. I've been getting like eight hours just from the battery itself. So imagine eight plus another eight, that's 16 plus another four. So like 20 hours of gaming, that is insane. So let's say you've got a really long haul flight. You could do this with that. Thanks Steam Deck for just making noises at me. But yeah, to see how much battery life you've got in, you just press this once and it lights up to show you how many you've got. But of course, that's not it. You've probably seen this on the back just here, which means you can connect it to this thing and it's not magnetic, which I know people are like, no, I don't want magnets. Fair enough, I don't either. But this is not magnetic. It is simply held on by gravity. So you just slide it on. But this thing just here actually clips to your Steam Deck and you can see we've got a vent cutout hole at the top and on the side just here so that you're not impeding the airflow of the Steam Deck itself. So let me get my Steam Deck OLED out just here. So I'm gonna just pull this off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna hook it down at the bottom first, and then I'm gonna like gently kind of snap it over the top like that. And I'm just gonna kind of shimmy it over a little bit. There we go, and now it's in place, right? So let's just back out of all this. Now it is in place like this. And then what I'm gonna do is get this and just slide it down like that which means it's installed. So we've got a big honking battery on the back here. And then what I can do is get the USB cable, plug it in on the top just there. And then I can plug in the USB cable at the top just here, like so, and boom. It is done and it is installed, which is crazy. And you can see now that the Steam Deck up here is saying, yep, it's charging. And you can also see the power bank has the lights on the back saying, yep, fully charged, so you know exactly how much power you're getting. And yes, the downside here is it is freaking heavy. Like, it definitely makes it heavy, but because it's placed on the back in the middle at the top, like, the weight distribution is actually okay. Obviously, if you were trying to play 20 hours solid, it's probably gonna get a little bit heavy, but are you really gonna be playing for 20 hours straight? Probably not. <laughs> so you're probably gonna play for, I don't know, however long, few hours maybe, stop, few hours maybe, but for traveling and stuff, this is ideal. It really is good. Now there's a small gripe I have, but that's just me being hypercritical. I always need to see room for improvement in every product, right? So I'm gonna give it to you guys that have made this some tips. And it mainly centers around this piece just here because it is just a hard plastic on the top and the bottom. And I really would like it if you guys added some like felt protection here, like just cover this back piece, maybe not even the whole back piece, but like the corners up here and this lip around here and the bottom just here, some felt or some foam padding or something so that when you put it on the Steam Deck itself, it's not just scratching it because it is quite a sharp edge just here. The other thing I just wish as well was that this 
was like m like scalable. Do you know what I mean? Like those phone grips where you can like rack it open and shut again because this is just purely designed for the Steam Deck itself. And yes, that's fine. The Steam Deck itself is super ergonomic and it's great, but I love using third party grips like this one. This is the Skull & Co. It's my favorite. It, my Steam Deck OLED lives in this because it has a built-in stand and it fits in the official case if you've got a 512 gigabyte model. Doesn't fit in the one terabyte model one because of the, the weird like case that it comes with with the OLED. But I would love to see this be able to fit on here because it, it won't, it's too big obviously. So this won't fit. Whereas if it was scalable and I could pull it up and down, it would still fit around my vent holes just there and the vent holes at the top just there. And then I could clamp it around any third party case if this was scalable, that would be excellent because then I could rock this on the back just here like that and I would love that. But overall, I absolutely love this design. I love the fact that this is actually a 45 watt output, which is really good and the price is even better. So I'm gonna say straight up on Amazon, these are more expensive than if you buy it from the website, link down in the description. So on their website, this full price is 45 pounds. So a pound per watt of output, right? 45 pounds, but it's currently on sale right now on the website for 41 pounds. But if you use our discount code, which you can find down in the description, you're gonna get an extra 10% off that. So that comes off of the discounted price again, which makes makes this £36.90, I believe. So £37 for a 45 watt, 20,000 milliamp hour battery with a dockable thing that you can stick on your Steam Deck itself and the right cable as well. That is ridiculous. That's a super cheap power bank with that much power output. It really is, 37 pounds, less than 40 pounds for a really capable power bank, which to me is a must buy for your Steam Deck and Steam Deck OLED. So what do you think of this power bank? I absolutely love it, as you can tell, but I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Are you using a power bank? I love the fact that this can actually strap on to the Steam Deck. You're not just having it swinging around and all that rubbish. That is amazing. But again, I wish this bit was modular, you know, like scalable. But anyway, enough jibber jabber. Go and check out mine and AJ podcast over here where we talk about all things gaming and check out another video by me down here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!